Hallelujah. We want to appreciate the name of the Lord for the opportunity He always put before us every Thursday and every week, uh, weekend, Saturday, and also Monday. When we approach him, we will come together to pray. And the Lord has been so good to every one of us. His blessing, his power, his grace has been so much manifested upon our lives. And tonight is another night. Another night of visitation of the power of God upon our lives. And you will not be the same in Jesus' name. The Lord will do wonders in our need in Jesus' name. The child will say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's uh, pray together. Father, we thank you for another opportunity. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for guiding us and also for protecting us all the days of our lives. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Father, we seek all the blessings. Let your name be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. As we gather the water, as we come together to see your face and to pray, we pray that the wind of our lives. Lord, we are just asking that our coming together this evening and this night to lead truth into our life, into our ministry, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Help us to remember the purpose why you called us, the purpose why you save us, and the reason why you redeem us for the blood of the Lamb. We are acting and we are praying as you remind us that purpose. As we have that vision and we walk or with that vision, every problem and mountain in our life will be sweep away from every life tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give us understanding. And our brothers and sisters who are not connected, as they will be connecting with us on this prayer online, every spirit of destruction, Father, where I rebuke such spirit and I cast every such spirit of destruction away from our knees, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. For upon us the spirit of prayer. Amen. To pray. Mm-hmm. Strength to Amen. pray. Your soul to pray that you Amen. will need upon our soul the power and the strength to travel in prayer. Thank you, Amen. Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage us that anytime we call for a prayer meeting, we always have the mind to pray. 
let us not allow anything to distract us. We come together. And I am believing God that the Lord will open our eyes to know the purpose and the reason why the Lord gave us and the commission He has committed into our hands. So I pray that we all do the will of God in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Open your mouth and let's thank you. 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 Let's worship the King of Kings. Let's glorify Him. He's the Almighty God. He's the God of Israel. The God of Jacob. Let's give Him the glory. Our God is the There is no one with. There is no one. It can compare with our God, the Almighty God. Father, we want to thank you for who you are. We want to bless you for your power. We want to thank you for your grace. We want to thank you because you are the God of age. You are the greater than the greatest. You are the I am that I am. You are the unchangeable God. You are the Almighty God. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we worship you. The God that defied the rest. The God, your children, the Son of God, the Son God, the God that is present everywhere at the same time, the El Shaddai, Lord, we worship you, 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 Lord, the unchangeable changer, we bless your name. We worship your name. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the Thank you for staying our life. Oh, God. Can we go here with you? The God that cannot die. The God that cannot change. The Almighty that has been in the world before the world began. Lord, I bless you. You are still on the throne. Lord, I worship you. There is nothing to worry about because you are always on the throne. Thank you because tonight you will visit us. Thank you because tonight you will roll mountains away. Thank you because tonight you are going to, you are going to manifest your power in our land. Father, great is the Lord. Father, great is thy faithfulness. Father, great is thy power. Father, great is thy spirit. Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name. I am God. So be glory to you. Be magnified. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am not hearing your response. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. My dear brothers and sisters, if you will look back and look into your life. You will see God has been so faithful. God has protected you. God has kept you. You and your household. You and your family. The Lord has been so good to every one of you. My sister, for you being alive is a testimony. My brother, mm. for you being alive, you are not hospitalized is a testimony. Brethren, look at the goodness of God in your life. Men and brethren, look how God has been fighting all your battle for you. God has been rolling away all the mountains away from your life. I want you to lift up your voice once again and say, Baba, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of life. 
I give you all the glory, I give you all the glory, the name is in my face, in the name of Jesus, Father, I come to the honor, Father, I come, I need to thank you for everything that you have done in my life, Father, may you receive all our thanks in the name of Jesus, Father, I give you all the glory, I give you all the glory, Father, I give you all the glory, What shall we render for all your benefits? What shall we render for your protection? What shall we render for your power? What shall we render for the fulfillment of your purpose in our life? What shall we render for we being alive to you? What shall we render for you working and providing and taking care of us? What shall we render? Oh, give him the glory. Celebrate the King of Kings. Worship the God of Israel. To him be the glory. He's worthy to be praised. And it's worthy to be magnified. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Oh, so your name. Thank you, Lord. We, we worship your name. Ah, we thank you, you because our gathering together tonight, this thank evening, you. is unto the Lord. Thank we you, thank Lord. you for the gift of life. We thank Lord. you for dominion in our life, power in our life, authority yes. in our life. Thank yes. you because yes. you have raised us up. We are now sitting mm-hmm. with Jesus Christ together in every place, far above principality. Thank you for our position in Christ Jesus. Thank you mm-hmm. because we are sons and daughters in the kingdom. Thank you for those of us who are saved that our name is the book of life. Thank you mm-hmm. for everything you have been doing in our life on this platform. Mm-hmm. Thank you for all the ministers. Thank you for all the brothers. Thank you for all the sisters. Thank you for everything mm. you have been accomplished through us, and it is you that worked in us. What are we are to do is good pleasure. Father of our Lord Jesus, receive all our praises, be glorified, be magnified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We come tonight, we come this evening, our call for oh God, empty cup. We pray that, Lord, all this empty cup, you will feed all this cup with blessing to, over, to be overflow in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we gather tonight, this evening, oh God, as we look at the Bible, as we look at your word right now, we pray, open mm. our eyes, give us revelation, speak to us, and let your word do wonders in our lives. Make us mm. men and women we ought to be. Make us Savior of the cross, Nikos, warrior indeed, Nikos, an ambassador that you say that we are, and who we live according to our profession in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, 
after tonight's prayer meeting, I decree, as I have told you before this time, that everybody on this platform, everyone that is connected and that will be connected, I pray that after tonight's prayer meeting, I pray, raise up champion out of us. Raise up the raise up Three days, indeed, that we do your will. We mm. go in the street of the Lord <laughs> and cast the kingdom and bring souls to the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All the selfishness in our life, all the self center in our life, we throw them away. We want to Amen. seek your will. We want to seek your face. We want to do your will and the grace to do your will. I pray, release that grace upon every one of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want us to be active on this platform because first day prayer online is a different shape than the one of on Saturday and also for men prayer meeting. When we mm-hmm. come on Thursday, the program has been designed. Deliverance is there for Saturday. Domino is there on Saturday and part all that. But we call on Thursday like this. is to reawaken us and to us mm-hmm. have focus and the purpose why God has called us mm-hmm. to focus on that purpose. As we focus on the purpose and the calling of God upon our life, the Lord will bless mm-hmm. us in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are going to open our Bible, Isaiah chapter 5. I want somebody to help us to read from verse 1 all through to verse 4. Isaiah chapter 5, from verse 1 all through to verse 4. Let's open our Bible. Amen. Amen. Now I will sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved hath a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. I pray once again, the Holy Ghost will open our eyes Amen. to know the reason why God has called us and why God has chosen us and why God has blessed us. Mm-hmm. Look at that verse 3. And now, all inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, George, I pray you, between me and my vineyard, what will I have done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Therefore, we are for when I look that it should bring forth grace, it brings forth white grace. Here God is saying, Look mm-hmm. at your life. The Lord has blessed you. The Lord has given you good health. The Lord has preserved mm-hmm. your life. And the Lord has been mm-hmm. answering all our prayers. And every time we call for prayer meeting, we always ask God, bless me. We only ask God, heal me. We only ask God, deliver me. We only ask God, do this and do that for me. And God has been faithful. Mm-hmm. And the Lord is asking us, I have been doing all this. What have you done for me? Mm. I have been thinking to of you every day. Have you ever reached out for souls? Mm. Have you ever touched the life of people? 
Have you ever blessed people with the gospel of peace? Have you preached the gospel this week? Have you told somebody about Jesus, the Savior of the world? Every time you come before me, you ask me, deliver me, and the Lord does that. Help me, and the Lord help me. Liberate me, and the Lord does that. Break every yoke of the devil out of my life, he always does that. That the enemy will not prevail over my life, he always does that. But the Lord is asking you. He's asking you. Wherefore, when I knew that it should bring forth grace, truth, souls into the kingdom of God, reach out to souls, win them one by one, say them about Jesus the Savior. By where the Lord folded his hand, he's not reaching out to souls. And God is saying, let's turn around. Well, uh, let's reach out today to the souls that are dying. Let's reach out to the souls. This is the only thing that Jesus has forced in this world to occupy. And if you are not reaching out to souls, and we are coming every Thursday, oh God, deliver me. Oh God, heal me. Healing is there already. Deliverance is there already. And the Lord is expecting you to reach out. My brother, power has been released into your life. My sister, mm-hmm. authority has been released into your life. God mm-hmm. expects you to reach out to people. Touch the life of people. Oh yes, there is problems. There are difficulties. Oh yes, I know about that. Why can't you take your God business? And for God, in try and see, God will also take care of your own business. Never for God today, the angel of God will never for you. Thank God today, angel will serve you as well. And the Lord mm-hmm. is calling us to active and vigilance, active to visit our soul, active touching the life of people. My dear brother, my dear sister, many Christians today do not understand the real meaning of Christianity. We have a lot of bread and butter Christianity. We have a lot of bread and butter Christianity. Oh God, if you will do this for me, I will serve you. Oh God, if you will give me a husband and give me a wife, I will serve you. Oh God, if you pull the words of Jericho down in my life, I will do this for you. Those are bread and butter Christianity. But if you want to be strong, if you want to be a, a giant killer, if you want angels to run errands for you, if you want to be precious in the sight of God, occupy. Is so winning. Preach the gospel. Is so winning. Reach out to people. Give them trust. Invite them to Jesus. And I believe God, as you do that, the power of God will work in our life in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. Let's open our Bible to Luke chapter 9. Gospel at According to St. Luke, chapter 9, verse 1. Open your Bible. Luke, chapter 9, verse 1. Amen. And then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. Thank you very much. Chapter 10, chapter 10, verse 1. And verse 2, and then verse 19. Chapter 10, verse 1, verse 2, verse 19. Amen. After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also, and sent them before his face into every city and place, whither he himself would come. 
And therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into this harvest. Verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Thank you, my brother. Look at the demands. Look at the look at what the Lord is saying to every one of us on this prayer prayer online on this platform. Yay! God has been blessing every one of us. Yes. Every time we call, we say, God, do this. God, hear me. God, bless me. God, deliver me. God, protect me. Oh, yes. What have you done for Jesus? The harvest truly is plenteous, but the neighbors have you. Pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest. That is the prayer request that Jesus left to us before he went to heaven. That is the prayer request in the heart of the of God Almighty. How many of folks take time praying this prayer request? How many of folks have, have thought deeply on this request of Jesus? That Jesus said we should pray it therefore, the Lord of the harvest. He will send forth laborers for the feet of the harvest. The prayer request of Jesus. We are not praying the prayer request of Jesus. We are occupied with our own request. I want to buy a car. That is good. That is good. I want to be the house. That is good. That is wonderful. I need a job. That is good. That is wonderful. Jesus said, pray it therefore. And that is the only prayer request Jesus left in the New Testament before I went to heaven. That the Lord of the harvest will send forth laborers to the feet of the harvest. The Lord of the harvest will send forth laborers to the feet of the harvest. I told you, when you are occupied in the assignment of soul winning, angel will minister to you. Angel will run errands for you. Angel will call before you and they will minister to you. But then you must get engaged to what God is interested. And Jesus now said, Behold, I give unto you power. Power in your life. You say, but I don't know how to preach. Don't worry. The power of God is there. He said, Behold, I give unto you power. Behold, I give unto you authority. Behold, I give unto you dominion. Behold, I give unto you power. The power of God resided in your life. The authority of God abided in you. You know, Jesus said this time, just surely follow them who of my name believe for today. We are running after signs and wonders. Today, we are running after miracles. Today, we are running after signs and wonders. Here and there, change your priority. Change your priority. This sign shall surely follow them. It's following you everywhere you go. It's present is with you. And God expects you to manifest is glory in your life. Reach out to people. Pray for souls. Lift up an empty hand to those who are still outside the kingdom of God and bring them into the kingdom of God. Behold, I give unto you power. That power will work in your life in Jesus' name. And I believe in you, I believe in God that uh, this evening or tonight, the Lord will lift you up. Where you have been mm-hmm. defeated before, the Lord will strengthen you. You will mm-hmm. rise up. You will go forth to the strength of the Lord. And no any power will be able to conquer you again in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. Get occupied. Get engaged. It's all with you. And the Lord will bless you. 
I want you to, to commit your seven years of the Lord. Have you won any form of Christ? Are you a soul winner? Are you evangelizing? Where are your forms? Thank you for Where is that are you? Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you have any comfort? You always call me in the book God. Yes, oh God, heal me. Oh God, deliver me. Oh God, liberate me. Where are your comfort? The power of God is in your power. Go out and we source for Jesus. Go out and we source for Jesus. Go out and we source for Jesus. Oh, I give us no power. Then see where you go, then go to God and see a soul winner. Oh, God, if there is a soul winner. Take away every little bit of Take away every little bit of Take away every little bit of Fire of the fire of my altar. Fire of the fire of my altar. Fire of the fire of my altar. Fire of the 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 fire of I don't know what you are. I don't know what I don't know what you are. I don't know what you are. I don't know what you are. ไอ้ยังฟังไว้ไอ้ยังฟังไว้ไอ้ยังฟังไว้ไอ้ยังฟังไว้ไอ้ยังฟังไว้ไอ้ยังฟังไว้ไอ้ยังฟังไว้ไ
You are going to pray. Oh God, make me to be a shiny and a burning light in this generation. I want to tell you that the generation is going. And we are in the last days. Everything that is happening in the world today, globally, pointing to us, the Savior is coming very soon. How prepare must I go and empty handed? Must I meet my Savior's soul? Not one soul in which to greet him. Must I an empty handed go? You are going to pray. Oh God, give me souls. That is a prayer point. Oh God, make me a soul winner. That is a prayer point. You will pray and ask the Lord that God will make you a soul winner and God will give you soul. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. Let God make you a soul winner. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I go and empty and then. I my Savior soul. Not one soul. Not one soul. To present to him. Make me a soul winner. Make me a Lord. Make me a soul winner. Make me a soul winner. souls. Souls are perishing. No, no, no. Give me nature. And Jesus ah, died for them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Souls are dying everywhere. And Jesus paid the price for their redemption. Call upon the Lord and let God make you a soul winner for Jesus. Make me a soul winner for Jesus. Make me a soul winner for Jesus. God make you a soul winner. Take spiritual barrenness away from my life. I want to bear fruit in your kingdom, O oh God. Every spiritual barrenness, O oh God, take it away. Make me a soul winner for Jesus. Make me a soul winner for Jesus. I want to win souls and pure souls. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Who shall I say? And who shall I go for us? People are dying by coronavirus everywhere. Thousands of souls have died through this coronavirus. We have gone on. We have gone. Oh my God, my Lord. Oh my God. Have you ever win a soul for Jesus in this pandemic? Have you win souls? Have you win souls for Jesus? During this pandemic, are you reaching out for souls? Are you avenging souls? Are you praying for souls to come into the kingdom? Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come, O oh Lord. Call upon the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you still there, my people? My people, are we still there? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. You know what? This pandemic period, a lot of souls have died. A lot of souls have gone to eternity. Never to return back to this planet again. And they are our neighbors. We see them. Before we know what is happening, they have crossed to the great beyond. Have you ever win a soul during this pandemic? Have you ever reached out to souls? We always come every time we pray, oh God, bless me, and God bless us. We always come every time, oh God, destroy all the enemy of my family. God does that. We always come every time and say, God, heal me. 
God does that. We always pray for ourselves. Our prayer has been self-centered. We are not talking. We are not praying about God's prayers. We are not praying Jesus' prayer. Jesus said, "Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest." We send forth laborers into the field of the harvest. Have we ever prayed the prayer request of Jesus? Jesus gave us a prayer request. We should pray. Be busy praying for our physical need, our material need, our our secular need. All those things are good. Let's turn around and let's pray the prayer of Jesus. We are going to pray. As places the gospel has not penetrated, villages, cities, countries that they have not heard about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to pray that the Lord will send forth laborers into the feet of the others. The Lord will raise up soul winner. The Lord will raise up evangelists. The Lord will raise up preachers of the word of God that will bombard every nook and corner, all the states, all the villages, all the city, all the town for the gospel of Christ. Oh, you want to pray and say, oh God, send forth laborers. Into all the look and corner they have not heard about Jesus. Open your mouth and pray the prayer of Jesus. Let God say for neighbors. Let God say for neighbors. Are you praying? Pray and call upon the Lord. Let's talk to God in prayer. That the Lord will send forth neighbors into the field of the harvest. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, my people, dear, oh, we are sleeping. My people, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We may not understand the way we visualize prayer. And it's like we always pray about our physical needs and our challenges. So far, so good. That is all right. That is good. But it's wisdom. We should pray concerning the things of God. We always talk about our things, our needs. God has a need. Jesus also has as a need. And the Lord has given us the prayer request. I wonder some of us. It's like we are not praying. We are not, we, we are not crying to God. It's like some of us who don't know the state we are in this last day. We do not even understand the period we are. We are so baby Christians, bread and butter Christians, see, and bread Christians. The spiritual need that the Lord is giving to us. It's like it's a hard request. The grace of God will carry you through. And the power of God will walk in your life. And wherever you have been defeated, I'm praying for you. The Lord will strengthen you and the Lord will give you victory in every aspect of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for all those who are going with challenges in our midst, those who are sick, those who are looking for a husband, and those who are looking for a wife, and those who are looking for a job, and those who need accommodation. Let's pray for all the need in this platform. Let's pray the Lord will provide every need of all his children, and those who are sick, God will heal them, God will deliver them. Open your mouth and pray. 
Oh Lord, my Father, my King, General of Faith. Our Lord God, we thank you, Jesus. Those who are sweet, let's pray that you thank you, Jesus. We 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 thank you, Jes
who are believing God for a life partner, let's pray they will not marry Jezebel. Do not Amen. marry Delilah. Let's pray for Amen. them. The Lord God Almighty, we collect our 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 bachelors, our brothers who are believing God for a life partner. Let's pray, oh God, connect our brother. Connect Reveal your will today in the name of Jesus. Whatever the blocking the American life, oh God, we pray we take it out of the way. Let them be connected. Let them be connected. Let them be connected. In the name of Jesus, we are praying that nobody is nobody is denied. We are asking, we are praying to God that nobody be our enemy. We are praying to God we connect you to the right path. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the answer. In Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for all those who are believing God for, for provision that God will provide for them financially, materially. Let's pray, oh Lord, provide for all every one of us on this platform. Oh God, we provide financially. This is a time, difficult time we are, this pandemic, lockdown. Everywhere, money, money, no money in circulation. Everywhere is dry. Let's ask the Lord, oh God, provide. Oh God, make a way. Oh God, provide. Oh God, make a way. Financially, financially, financially. Let, let every currency be coming in. In the name of Jesus, let the dollar be coming in. The euro be coming in. The coming in. The naira coming in. Let God be God to make up the windows and put it for Fight for all his people. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You are going to pray that God will put the love of Jesus in your heart to help your neighbor, to help your brother, to help your sister. The, the love is not there, the first love. Love that you will, love that you will put out in your pocket in this pandemic to be able to help those who are suffering. Christians like that love. We eat our food alone. We are going to pray that the Lord will put that love of Jesus in your heart, in your life. My dear brother, look at how you are wasting food. Food that you throw to the, to the refuge. People are packing those food and they are eating to survive. You are going to pray, oh God, have mercy upon me, put the love of Jesus to gear for all that in my heart. Call upon the Lord and pray. If you say you have the love of Jesus, how many people have you fit in this How many people have you put hand in your pocket and you bless this How many people have you blessed with all the money you have in the bank? Look at your back account. Every money you have, have you ever blessed people? You put hand in your pocket and you bless them financially. Have you ever helped people? Say God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Or we give you that love of God. God bless you. Don't eat your food alone. Don't spend your money alone. That money does not belong to you. Look around. People are dying. Look around. People are suffering. Share some of your property with other people. Share your money with other people. After this prayer meeting, you can to pray. Let God lead you to bless people. Bless your brother. Give yeah, blessing to your sister. Don't spend your money alone. And don't do your money alone. Don't give blessing to your neighbor. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Pastor Matthew, please over to you. Let's continue to the name of the Lord. Let's thank Him. Let's worship Him because of today. Let's glorify the name of the Lord. The devil does not conquer us. Open your mouth. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord because of your family. Praise the name of the Lord because of your children. Praise the name of the Lord because of your husband. Praise the name of the Lord because of our, all our pastors that have been with us. Praise the name of the Lord for how God has been using you to use them mighty for the glorification of his name, let worship him. Let worship him. Let glorify the name of the Lord. Let glorify the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.
Yeah. Let me for all our pastor, the Baba, the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not be put to shame in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let's open our mouth financially, materially, yeah. by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as they are watering us. Almighty God is going to water them too in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth, let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's pray for all our pastors. The Baba, the power and the blood, I can't hear you, I can't hear you praying for them. You can see how they are laboring every time, every Thursday, every
the devil might have planted against any one of us, Almighty Father, Almighty Father, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You are, you are taking them off our way in Jesus' name. Oh, my God, for those people, as many of us that are on this prayer line, testimony will be our portion in Jesus' name. Oh, my God, we pray by the power that you will empower us. Uh, we will empower us with the power that against sin, against worldliness, against anything that is not in, that is not in, the, for, in, the, in the plan of God for us in Jesus' name. Oh, my God, we are going to the Father. Your testimony will follow us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord, Amen. Lord, 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 Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.